Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we are going to study in this lesson are the quadrilaterals, that is the polygons with four sides. Now in quadrilaterals also we will see that there are many different categories of quadrilaterals. So let's understand what they are. Now even before we start learning about quadrilaterals, you might be interested to know why do we need to study quadrilaterals? Why? I mean, how will it help me? So let us try to connect it with our day-to-day -day life. As I already mentioned that there are so many shapes, there are so many objects that exist around us and all of them have some or the other shape. In fact, you would be amused, amazed to see that there are many shapes around us which are nothing but quadrilateral. Let's think of your blackboard. The shape of your blackboard is nothing but a quadrilateral. Think of the laptop screen or the desktop screen. So the shape of the screen again is a quadrilateral. Think of a book or a window pane or even the kite. So all these are in the shape of quadrilaterals. A table, TV, the bed. So all, the, all of these when you look at their shapes. So when you look at this TV screen, this is a quadrilateral. You look at the window pane, this is again a quadrilateral. You look at your blackboard, that is again a quadrilateral. You look at the bed, so that's again a quadrilateral. Now, you might next ask me that, okay, fine, even if these objects have the shapes of quadrilaterals, fine, I got to know that, okay, this is a quadrilateral and that should be fine. Why are we digging in more to know more about quadrilaterals? Because if we know quadrilaterals in depth, we can decide certain things with regards to such objects. Let's say that uh, now beds can be of many different sizes, right? Now, even though the shape, shape of the bed would be a quadrilateral always, but their sizes would vary. Now, if I ask you that what should be the size of the bed sheet that you would need for your bed. Now, in order to answer that, you need to know the size of your bed. So how do you know the size of your bed with the dimensions, right? So you need to know the dimensions of your bed. You need to know the area that your bed includes, the area that is enclosed by the boundary of the bed. Similarly, if you have a field, which is again in the shape of quadrilateral, if I ask you that how much wire do you need to fence that field? Now for that, again, you need to know how much is the total boundary of that field. So to make such calculations, to make, take all these decisions, you need to have a detailed idea on what quadrilaterals are. Like you need to know the size of your bed for buying a bed sheet. Similarly, you need to know the size of your mobile phone to buy a mobile cover. You need to know the size of your window to buy curtains. You need to know the size of the field, field in order to fence it. So knowing these dimensions like area, shapes, etc. would help. So when we talk about quadrilaterals, we are not only going to talk about the shape as such, we are going to talk about the various types of quadrilateral, their area, their boundary and what are their properties. So those are the things that we will touch upon. So what are quadrilaterals? These are polygons with four sides. Now on the screen, you can already see a uh, you can see many varieties of in the shapes of polygons, even though all of them have four sides. Now, in any quadrilateral, what are the things that we have in common? We have four sides, we have four vertices, we have four internal angles. So think of, consider any of these. So you have four internal angles like these, you have four sides like these. You also have the four vertices, that's these points. But now, the, the, these are the things that would be common, that all of them will have four sides, all of them will have four internal angles, all of them would have four vertices. Now what would vary is, there could be a variation in these parameters, in the values of these parameters. Now, in certain quadrilaterals, all the internal angles might be equal. In certain, quad, uh, certain quadrilaterals, there are two internal angles would be equal. In some of them, uh, none of them would be equal. 
right similarly in some of them the sides might be parallel in some sides will be not parallel in some sides will be equal in some sides will be unequal in some angles will be equal in some angles will be unequal so basically depending on these kind of parameters we would see that there exist many different types of quadrilaterals so even before we talk about the different types of quadrilaterals let us talk about some now even before we talk about the different types of quadrilaterals let us talk about some of the basic properties of quadrilateral so the first thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you